Now that there is definitely a face for radio. Welcome back guys, this is Aria, and we're here for the third and the final part of the Secret World Introduction series. This time we're gonna play Illuminati, there's no way around that. No coin tosses, no fancy stuff, nothing like that. So, create a new character. I'm not gonna create it on a German realm. For the first time, we are going to select the server, or dimension. Uh, Secret World, of course, uses a kind of single server technology, which has been proving extremely useful, considering my friends were not able to roll on the same dimension that I was on. We can, however, still group up and uh, instance PvP and have them boosted by me through missions, which is very good. Um, yeah, so final part of the introduction series, but there's a lot more dungeons coming. I'll talk about that a bit more after we play this video. It's all about power. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency, our DNA, our god. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here, hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks and hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary regardless of the cost because the world is a bad place and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati and we're not done. So there were several faces in that video that I really felt a need to comment on, but we're gonna move on. Here we go. Um, now, while I'm just quickly whipping together something completely weird and stereotypically Illuminati, based on, you know, the kind of Illuminati player you see running around, uh, the Dungeon series, yeah. More of that is definitely coming. Um, we're doing a little bit earlier, unfortunately I had to scrap that footage, but we have footage right the way up through, uh, we've got both the Egypt dungeons as well as Darkness War, which is coming very shortly, um, wow, really? Red Eye? Oh, can we make an albino? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Darkness War may take cropping a little bit, we kind of fell victim to being a bit stupid, uh, messing about a bit too much, and then the last boss, we had a, a bit of a problem with some slight bugging on it, uh, which didn't really add to an already bad situation there. Hmm, blockhead or pointy face? Blockhead, pointy face. Pointy face. Yep, albino. Or, yeah, that's a that's a lot more Illuminati. Trust me, you, you see them all looking like that. And where is some preppy douche hairdo? That's pretty preppy douche. Hmm. Definitely has to be that one. Where's the most horrendous eyebrows we can find? The default ones. Wow. Wow. In pink? That's just wrong. On so many levels. Handlebar moustache. Yes. That looks strange. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So... Is that blood, or did he just do a really bad job with the ha hair dye? I think we're going with that. Yep, we're doing that. So, outfit. Those yellow glasses. I think, I think they need to stay, you know? They definitely need to stay. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, it's got a jacket on over the top. That's going to create a problem in discovering exactly how douchebaggish this looks. Quite douchey. Uh, yeah. So we're, we are really loving the dungeon series, and something that I wanted to do was a blind run of a dungeon, because I have a bit of a thing where I have to just walk in and do it from scratch kind of thing. Should I make the jacket match his hair? Absolutely. It, it comes back from uh, mostly the World of Warcraft days, but honestly I, I've got to kind of need to figure it out myself anyway. <laughs> oh no, those. Those, definitely. Um, but a blind run would show off actually our ability to do this. I'm noticing a theme with this guy's outfit. I like it. We're doing it. Um, I didn't use a name generator again. I should really, really have remembered from last time. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and this is no joke. This is what the name generator just spat out. Price, price. Wow. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, so, yeah, I keep starting on that dungeon series, I swear I'm going to get through it. So the idea of the blind run is basically to show off the fact that we do have genuine skills in solving exactly what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, while we were doing Facility earlier, which is the first dungeon you'll encounter in Transylvania, we had to scrap the footage due to a disagreement with the pickup healer that we had. Um, so unfortunately you won't be seeing that, which is an absolute crying shame, because one of the bosses, we literally had it figured out in three seconds flat. And I say bosses, but it's really more of an encounter. You'll see that in the video when we actually get around to it. As you can see, this is... <laughs> uh, this is the same video again. Good God. That guy. You will see the dawning of a new age. <laughs> he just looks like he's passed out drunk and his friends have had their way with him honestly or he could just be really high which would explain this dream yeah he, he kind of looks high uh yeah so facility unfortunately we now understand we can't do that one so I think it's going to be Slaughterhouse or possibly Hell Eternal. Those are the, the last two that we haven't done. Um, by choice. I mean, I was saying it earlier, I, I should be on the Nightmare difficulties and farming those out now, but I kind of waited for the friends. I, did, I don't want to pick up. And uh, you know, we're having a lot of fun. It's good. So I made the right choice. And I'm mindful of the voices. No. <laughs> yeah, that looks <laughs> even worse with that hair. I wonder if he's noticed yet. Like, has he got any mirrors in this place that he can see himself? And actually see how bad it really is? Alright, so, I think I'll just go briefly into future content plans for Secret World. Um, I said right at the start that one thing I want to do is to actually go through with a new character, play through all the story and investigation missions again, and actually do kind of tutorial, walkthrough, guide pieces for the more difficult ones. Not outright give the answer, although I will. But I want to at least give people the option to uh, understand how you get this answer, to explain that to them, rather than saying the answer was 42. Because as we know, they managed to make an entire series of radio broadcasts, books, and a film out of that one. And 
yeah. So there's that. And the other thing I'm probably going to do when they start releasing the endgame content here and my Cabal's running that. Um, you know, hopefully they're up for letting me film them. They, they don't really have a say in the matter. I'm the leader. The charismatic leader with the YouTube account. Um, they, they'll probably love it, so long as we look good. <laughs> um, so I'll really put, be putting that up. Initial impressions, kills, tactics, all that good stuff. And maybe even a little bit of PvP. I don't know about that yet. This is new. Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Time is ticking, so I'll cut straight to the chase. I work in talent acquisition, specializing in a highly unconventional sector for a very particular client. This guy strikes me as the kind of individual in your kind of who rents but out several up, hookers and pays them to defecate on one another while he watches. My client is only interested in the best of the best. That's where I come in. Your talent is raw, but it's and he's got a porn obvious. stash. My client has the means to refine that talent and make the most of what you've got, and I'm not talking about money. Well, not just money. Now he sees like, sounds like a sleazy talent. record exec. Best parties in the biz. We're prepared to give you a unique opportunity, a chance to prove you've got what it takes to hang with the big boys and girls. Used car salesman? The world. It's up to you to grab that opportunity by the balls. Based on what I've seen so far, and that grunt tells me? For, oh, yeah. You might end up dead. Time will tell. Tick. You have Douchebag. Tomorrow in Brooklyn that I'd uh, recommend you keep. There's no address. Consider this the commencement of your official interview. Find us, or we'll find you. My client has uh, eyes everywhere. Don't be stupid. Late again. Okay. So it seems that they've just changed the signage for Brooklyn to Police Line Do Not Cross. I guess that saves a lot of time and effort. It's possibly something to do with the disappearance of Mario. Come on, load screen. You got this, bro. <laughs> it's even better with the glasses. Just the one thing that isn't pink or red. Bam! The glasses. Okay inside the laundromat. Oh, this this isn't a cliche at all. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Too much visibility on the street. They're listening. They're always listening. Yeah, it's Mel Gibson out of Conspiracy Theory. They bug my phones, read my mail. They have this place on CCTV. With an oddly egg-shaped head. Replace my girlfriend. Android. The Illuminati. I know you know. And they know I know. You know? <laughs> well, you're wondering why they haven't disappeared me. Shut yeah, down my magazine. I'm not laughing at that it's either. I play smart. I play along. It's a game to them, you know? It's all just a game. Oh, I uh, hi Leah. Don't worry, she's 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 not one of them. She's in my D D group. Role-playing is the only avenue to resist control. We do nothing. Nothing! I think I know why he's still alive. Us. And it's because been everybody been thinks he's a loser. For years, okay? Example, Pac-Man. That's how they see you. Just, 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 just a little head. Just a mind share. And you run through the mazes, the mazes they built, sucking down their pills, the fruit, the forbidden wisdom of Eden. Never enough. And you can't shake the fucking ghosts, right? I mean, they're watching you. 
Their eyes are always watching you. Even beyond death. This all adds up. That's where you'll find the Illuminati. At the dark center. In the ghost house. In the labyrinth. It's right here. Just, just follow the yellow dot road. <laughs> That's all I can uh -huh. say. Except they were white dots. Pac-Man was yellow. Find evidence of surveillance at the laundromat. Well, this looks like evidence to me because it's highlighted yellow. Find more surveillance equipment out. Is that a player or is he just... Yep, it is. Strange. My settings have... Uh... He should be showing all the names. I guess that's on a per character basis. Those are equipment and weapons requisitions. Interesting. I don't think they're supposed to have these. Or at least not yet. Ah. Okay, you don't even seem to be able to get in. Well, that's okay. I don't have a permit anyway. Follow the Illuminati markings. Well, this is not it. But that looks distinctly like a very graffiti-style eye in the pyramid. So let's go. I kind of like this. This is a lot more puzzle-based than uh, the other ones. Because honestly, I'm not following the signs. I'm just kind of following where I can go. That's working out well for me so far. I'm going to get jumped by a bunch of bums in a minute. They'll take my wallet. Well. That didn't work out very well. I guess I should actually follow the trail then. That isn't a trail of symbols, it is in fact just garbage. Literally, not figuratively, this time. Hmm. So, I was fairly sure I was supposed to come in here. Upstairs? It's also just garbage, not a symbol. That's a lore object. Okay, now, now I'm slightly um, confused here. So that's definitely a symbol. That looks like a hand. May not be relevant, but... Oh, wait, there's several of them. I'd say that it's got some degree of relevance. To the left. Um... Do you want to give me another hand? This one? This one? Okay. Now I'm on to you. This... This is investigative. Oh look! Another eye in the pyramid. Also featuring on the dollar bill. Because... You know. Let's get in on the conspiracy theory. It's fun! And as Homer learnt in... One of my most amusing episodes of The Simpsons. If you just talk enough crap, eventually something you say will be true. I'm gonna get that lore object just just because I'm in the mood to today. I don't need to. This character will last about 20 seconds after I complete this video, but... Yep! So... This doesn't look much like a sewer. Very good. Very good. Is this a metal detector? Because... Okay, it was a you sporting accident. Run them through due diligence. I'm on it. Please, no head trauma. Someone think and the beep in my crotch? Please don't check it. Say, have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here. It's funny that he said pink noise. I think he said pink noise. 
Technically, it's supposed to be brown noise. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or taken psychedelic drugs? Whoa, 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 don't freak out. You got a lot of narcosynthetics in your system to fast track the rapport process. So apparently so the Illuminati recruited Doc Brown. You lose motor function in your arms and legs. Is it safe? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher. An experimental researcher. Sir, my schedule is triple booked, so get started ten minutes ago. So they're uh, just yes, experimenting whether Gary? you can research? Management. <laughs> Still here. Shit. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be provoking your extra human potential. Routine tests. Psychic driving, invasive procedures, auto-suggestion. This is all going to happen while you're under a post-hypnosis role-playing scenario. I wouldn't worry about it. Why did I not play this play one before? A looped recording of the catastrophe in Tokyo. And then, with a little... Oh, wait. I know what this is. Assistance, your uninhibited neurons are going to work there. Crazy magic. Hopefully he's not going to do what the oh, Korean baby. chick did to put me this under. Because be honestly, out of body no. Wow. I'm pretty excited myself. And subject has left the building. I can only imagine what's going to be drawn on my face when I come out of this one. He seems like the kind of guy to do strange things to a person's face while they're unconscious. So, unless the Illuminati do it way differently All here as well, this is going to look very familiar. From the park to, to Arachi Tower, SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragon thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! He whines so much. No. Oh, <laughs> I was about to rotate around the player model and get a look at that uniform that I keep talking about. So, hmm, do I want to cut this this time, or do I want to make you watch? It's a shotgun. Well, it depends if I can think of things to talk about. Nah, I'm going to skip it. See you in a minute. It has to be said, this guy sounds so much like Sean Bean, but I don't think it is. What do you think, man? What do you think? What do you think? You know it. Okay, so, I remembered who this old guy is. That is the voice of Tosh from StarCraft II. Get into your I think that's bad news. <laughs> yep. Bad news. They're not stopping. Well, and they will not stop. You can tell this by the way I use my walk. Back. I'm a woman's man. No first. time to talk. To it's all coming down. This confusion may be all the time Later. we have. And here we are once again in magical amoeba planet serial space. Did also. I don't really talk about these freaky ass tentacle things off the floor. That's that's so weird. I mean that's Oh well it would be Japan, wouldn't it? Not to imply anything about their weird pornography, but you know what I'm talking about. So, what's Doc Brown got to say for himself?
pineal gland. And what's written on my face? Higher brain functions. Functioning. That is great work. Well above MK Ultra success rate. Hey, can I ask you, have you ever seen a Jaguar tripping? Sir! Well, yes. Look it up sometime. Hey, you better haul ass to the test chamber. Jump through a few hoops. Oh, oh, and you may be feeling some discomfort from the microchip that I grafted to your spinal column. No worries, Fabulous. I mean, I mean, it's, it, it's gonna fade, really. And Octopus. as your doctor, hmm. I caution you, strongly caution you, don't try removing it, okay? I don't really trust him as my doctor. Yeah, Octopus Fang is interesting. Oh, remind me to show you your brain scan sometime. Wow! It's like a magic eye picture. Yeah, I really don't trust him. So the octopus. Funny thing, they show the problem solving skills and intelligence of our primitive ancestors. The only catch is that they don't form complex social groups or any social groups at all. The mother essentially, in guarding the eggs, uh, ends up starving herself to death and dies, so the knowledge never gets passed on. But they are capable of teaching each other. Like, uh, the infamous ability to open jars. Um, if you have one octopus that knows how to do it, that's been in the lab for a while, and you get another one out of the wild, they can teach each other. The fun thing is, there's a species out in the Mediterranean that, you know, due to tourists killing off um, their food supply, guess in test chamber. Yeah, they have actually now started grouping up into social groups in order to. They now prey on their predators, which is kind of fun, but that that will be very interesting, because if those social groups hold, then in a few, and we're talking a few thousand years here, but, you know, we might have another thing on this planet that we can have a conversation with. So look forward to that. They give me clay this place me to hand them back doesn't look very... It is not an instructor they want. It is an alchemist. You, my friend, He looks like um, if you do not strike bit of a proud company boy. Here you will learn to strike first. Nice hairdo. Strike hard. For those combat holograms, they can do nothing to you. I, however, have a high-powered rifle and a streak of what some call sadism. I call a will to incentivize. You have potential, but we have no time to and, test it out uh, of you. Price looks nonplussed. Draw on to make yourself stronger, faster, a more effective killer. It is the magic behind the magic bullet. The weapons you use will become an extension of yourself. They are the instruments through which your anima is made force. I want you to arm yourself and show me that force. We have an arsenal here. You can experiment with all of them if you please. But when you leave, you can only take one with you. Have an edge, my friend, and I am not interested in how or why you came to possess it. Only that you sharpen it to the best of your abilities. Nothing less. In the test chamber, you can do so in safety. Safe. Except from me. I was about to say, now, you did threaten me earlier. Begin. So, this is the part where I usually cut it, but guess what? We're gonna have a special. So, what do we got? Over here, the caster. The blood magic. This is... Now, how do I relate this? Use it for the healing. I'm actually using it for tanking. Um, just because. And you can also use it for a bunch of damage over time effects. So, combat hologram. Which bits did it give me? Boiling blood! That'll build, and blood spike should consume two. Yep. You can actually, as you attack the targets, you build charges of the blood resources. If you actually hit it again, it will consume, it gives you a debuff and consumes your own life to do it. Which is very bad if you are the tank, and, uh, yeah. Now look, here's a ring. Why did. 
weird. Uh, chaos focus. You know what? I'm going to put a jump here in case you want to get past this because this might bore the hell out of some people. The chaos focus is weird so far. The damage, I'm told, is just bad. And you only really want to use it if you want to include evasion tanking in your build. I mean, from what I see here, it's basically just wannabe martial arts. Okay, this is getting weirder. So it's like my inventory just got no room in it at all. Elementum, elementalism focus is pretty much, it will turn you into a mage. So you get to hurl fireballs, or in this case, lightning. And is that what I think it is? No, it's combust. There's uh, <laughs> something that people like to use with me in my tanking build because it gives you a 100% crit chance on afflicted targets. And my tanking build is built around afflicting targets and glancing and other good stuff. Assault rifle. What is up with this exactly and why does it keep doing this? That, I guess, is broke. Let's not use that anymore. Okay, so, the assault rifle, more or less saw this one. Assault rifle is assault rifle, but there is potential for some utility, and also a way to make assault rifle into a support healing build, which is an interesting thought. Uh, pistols, pistols don't really seem to do anything well. They're more like a support role, definitely. Uh, you'd use them as part of another spec, just to sink out builders and to debuff it appropriately for other DPS, I guess. There's probably some way to make it really sweet, but I've not done too much work on it yet. Uh, shotguns. Shotguns are part of what we've currently worked out as about the top DPS spec. You missed out on me running around in the subway with this, so... There you go. There's some shotgun. Over here should be the melee weapons. Because, you know, this Illuminati place, it's got a bit of a, a tri-point layout going on. So, Blades. Blades is a personal favorite of mine. Um, probably helps if I equip the stuff first, doesn't it? Okay, we're doing that stupid drop things on the floor game again. Okay, good. So that would be Delicate Strike, and that is Balance Blade. Uh, blade resource is kind of funny. They build up when you're not actually in combat, so you can open with a consumer. Wait a minute. I definitely use Delicate Strike. Weird. Yeah, this is why I'm jumping through hoops. Fist weapons. Uh, fist weapons are part of the most powerful healing build that we've come up with to date. And you can do some really ridiculous things with these. This doesn't really do it justice. Uh, the only problem with fist weapons is that they're fist weapons. I'm not personally a fan. Uh, somebody else might be, but honest to God, I mean, you've got the choice of an assault rifle... Or, hey, I'm going to strap some claws to my wrist and gob and punch people. I mean, what do you honestly think is going to be more useful in a fight, right? So, hit this guy with a sledgehammer. And then hit all three of them with a sledgehammer. Congratulations, we've successfully complete. No, we haven't. It's messed up the validation again. I really have to be green. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I attack the green ones? That's just absurd. Equip a weapon, then return to Director de la Guardia. Oh, wait a minute. So which weapon do I want to use? Hmm. This is the company line. You will use it to make contact with the field. I didn't return to you. 
I want that one. Yep, we're going with a shotgun. Wait, did I just get double shotguns? It's pretty overpowered, man. Yep, let's just hit it and run. Done, let's leave. Right. Now, we're gonna talk to you. Now we're ready to talk to you, you hear me? Hairline. Right. So, this is the part, and this is the reason we played through it, that we're gonna get a lead in to Kingsmith, which is the first non-starter area of the game you get sent to. I'm not actually gonna do anything there, but it will lead in nicely to the future series, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna call this a special. And not special needs. That's uh, politically incorrect. And we're never politically incorrect. Strange place they have here. Hmm. I don't you like love her. Old school hip -hop, don't you? Projecting indecision is a big no no. Always smile. But this isn't another test. We don't do probation. You're either in or you're out. The Illuminati are very achievement focused. It's like Xbox, only everything is hardcore. The ethic I really want to instill in you is to aim high and achieve even higher. It's not just in your best interest, it reflects on me too. I and don't personally important. remember Xbox Make achievements being bad mandatory. Head on my wall is an object lesson to the next fuck up. God, it is so cute when you new guys think I'm kidding. Solomon Island. A little town and a preppy school with connections to us have kind of vanished off the coast of Maine. The people aren't a major deal. You know how many disappearances there are in the United States every year? We do. 17. But our noses need right. to be totally clean on this one. The military are involved, and we have limited bandwidth to stall the shit heels at the DOD. Give an old dude a red button to press, it's like Viagra to them. I want you out on Solomon Island to assess the impact on our bottom line. You can skip the traffic in the quarantine by traveling through Agartha. Just use your initiative, but not too much initiative that comes across as desperate. Ciao, ciao. So she mentioned Agartha, and... This is something that, yeah, it's really great the first time you walk in. Say, you got a nice poppin'? Follow the corridor into the warehouse. Aha. Now I have also passed briefly through New York, and this is somewhere that I passed into. Now, it may not escape your notice that there is indeed shrubbery and a strange tunnel here. Whatever could be going on down here. Well, here's a gaffer. And I... may cut the video right at the end of this loading screen, just to wind you up. But you can see from the loading screen that it's a pretty great place. Big steampunk robot. Hello? Yes? Now this is the Hollow Earth, a Gartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. But by my watch, it's. One hundred years overdue at quarter past the hour. Judging from the cut of you, you're more of a world traveler. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, this underground realm, like the great British rail system, is the very model of efficiency. Agatha's thoroughfares sprout from the tree of life so. and connect back to the surface. Distance and time bend in here. 
Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Now, of course, it's perfectly safe. And no one's entirely sure how it works. Quite bedeviled, the science boffins. But I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men. Top men. Now, you'll need one of these. I thought he was going for a fist Mighty pound. Fingers. Thank you. It's actually a Pokeball, but you don't know that yet. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the hollow earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast, what? Nope, not quite. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching, especially if you watched all three of the introductions. Um, if you enjoyed this, or anything of the sort, please hit some buttons, provided you agree with the associated sentiments. And uh, I'll see you in a future series. Here's me, jumping off a of Garfer. Later!